science is the better for creating spaces where everyone can participate. So it changed my life. The first 19 PhD students I had were all men, and 16 of the last 26 have been women. I still think having an imagination is probably what drives me because I think, well, one day I will show you that this is going to work. You know, it's just amazing to me how important photosynthesis is and how people don't understand it. Most of the time you can't do it all. You shouldn't get demotivated doing what you can do by what you can't do. For a scientist, we're discovering things and understanding them. Pushing those frontiers is really what it's all about. You need tools to investigate the brain and tools are all things we're making electronically. When we made our first successful solar cell, I realized immediately that we sort of opened up a Pandora's box. I was doing the RNA, Drew was seeding the dendritic cell, generating it, testing it. Yeah, I mean, it was, it was 25 years of work being stuck in my arm. <laughs> um, you know, it, it, it was a fantastic feeling. In more than 35 years uh, that I've had in the industry, I've never seen anything done at this scale and with this kind of speed. We have been working literally seven days a week for a long time. If there is a message that comes out from this pandemic, and particularly our endeavor, it is that uh, uh, don't ever think something is impossible before you try it. You will be surprised.